Although everyone makes mistakes, the key is to learn from them. That's the case for a former local boxer who saw his career come to an end due to his bad decisions. But now he's learned from his errors and is using these experiences as an example for kids from our community. Luis Ortiz with the second part of our Fox 2 special report, The Victory of Defeat, the story of Raul El Tigre Cáceres. After 12 years as a professional boxer, Raul El Tigre Cáceres is still fighting in the ring, but not for wins or losses. Instead, to inspire the kids from his community. Just like the old days, the alarm goes off at 5 in the morning for a personal training session before dedicating the rest of his day to his fighters, the life of Raul El Tigre Cáceres after boxing. For almost a year, I felt kind of lost. When these guys walked in the gym, man, my, my life turned around again. The goal is still the same, a world title. Drugs and alcohol stopped Casares from winning one, but now he looks to accomplish it as a trainer. When they're in the ring, it's not the same. It will never be the same, but it kind of feels like I'm fighting again, you know? I fight through them. The former professional boxer knows how important it is to have a good relationship with his students. He's more than just a coach, he's a friend. He's a good person, you know, I, I could open up to him whenever I have problems, you know, uh, at home. And I just, coming to the gym is like a stress reliever. Class is in session even after school. Every fighter is required to present the report card and the older guys must pass random drug tests. If they're dirty, they can't compete. It helps me a lot because I know I got to pass the play, pass the play. So whenever I think of school, I think of boxing. All behind one motive, to teach the young fighters discipline, not only inside the ring, but in life as well. I take a lot of pride in what I do, and I'm going to keep stressing about it. And like I said, if I can get across to one kid, that means a lot, man. Well, hopefully he can, you know, teach them the mistakes he made and kind of like lead them back on the right path and everything. The results are starting to show. Casares has planted the seed and it's coming to fruition. Thanks for everything, bro. You're slowly changing me as a person. Honestly, I've been clean for two weeks now and I feel more aware of life and it's a good feeling knowing that I have you in my corner. I'm not going to lie, I think I had a drug problem but I'm finally breaking away. Not every fighter gets to be great inside the squirt circle. Sometimes they make better teachers. Yeah, well, basically me, uh, you know, I was a decent fighter, I was great, decent but I'm a lot better trainer, I'm a lot better teacher. And that's probably, you know, Tigre's calling. Despite having hit rock bottom, Casares has shown he has the eye of the tiger. They gave me hope again, and uh, I'm living through them, I'm fighting through them, and I'm happier than ever, man. Pues para mí, él ya está bien. Y su labor es muy bonita y me gusta lo que está haciendo. It may be too late for Casares to have learned from his mistakes, but better late than never. I look forward to coming to the gym every day and spend time with him. This is only the beginning of the next phase in Casares' career, who says he plans on helping his fighters accomplish what he failed to do. Luis Ortiz, Fox 2 News.